Okay, hello students, welcome to the class. We'll now continue with non-ideal solution. Non-ideal solution which you have seen. We have considered the solute and the solvent, solute B, solvent A, both are liquid, both are volatile in nature and non-ideal solutions are those in which solution and its component do not follow Raoult's law that is PA is not is equal to P naught A into XA both components will not follow this law uh, that is uh, vapor pressure of the solution which we find out experimentally is not equal to what we get through the formula Raoult's law and also the second point we have seen delta V mixing uh, will not be equal to zero it will be either greater than zero or will be less than zero and the third delta H mixing change in enthalpy will also not be equal to zero neither heat will be taken in nor given out. So we will be uh, doing uh, the Px diagram and Tx diagram for the solution. So non-ideal solutions are of two types. Non-ideal solution is of two types. Solution will show positive deviation from Raoult's law and the solutions which show negative deviation. So which show positive deviation in their case vapor pressure of this will be greater than the product of these two for both the component. And uh, delta V mixing will be greater than zero and delta H mixing will also be greater than zero for the solution. And uh, for negative that is round slab vapor pressure which you get through the experiment that will be less than what we get through the law and uh, you can remember this second is delta V mixing will be less than zero and the third delta H mixing will also be less than zero. So keeping this condition in mind, we will do type of uh, non-ideal solution, Px and Px diagram, Px diagram are given, sorry Px diagram are given, Px diagram uh, are not given in your book, so see here clearly. So first we will look for positive deviation. Uh, solutions that show. So these are of two types. These are of two types. Type 1 and type 2. So what is type 1 if we draw PX diagram? So we are going to do Px diagram for type 1 solution. What is type 1? Solutions which show positive deviations. So for that you will have to plot a graph.
I draw a little smaller so that both the diagram can be drawn parallel. To each other. Since this is Px, so we will keep temperature constant. And a pressure variable. This is for component A, this is for component B. Here is the composition. Composition can be mole fraction or percentage composition. So you know this side we will have XA is 1 and XB is 0 and here we will have XB 1 and XA 0, 100% A and 0% B. Here 100% B and 0% A. Always this will be taken throughout. So for pH diagram as we have considered component A we have taken with the low vapor pressure and this with the high vapor pressure. So first we will draw for ideal solution and then we will compare its deviation. So last time in the previous one you have seen if we obtain a straight line then I hope you remember this graph. So this is your P total for solution which is partial pressure of A plus partial pressure of B. This line is indicating partial pressure of component A and this point is P naught A and this point is P naught B. Vapor pressure of the pure component, vapor pressure of the pure component A, this is vapor pressure of the pure component B. And if it is a straight line, it is ideal solution. For non-ideal solution, Type 1, type 1, what we have that the vapor pressure of the solution of component A, if you see that, it will be showing a curve upward. Means with PA, partial pressure of component A, is more than the ideal condition. What we get experimentally is greater than the value we obtain through the law, Raoul's law for both the components. So this is like this. And in the case little you have to be careful uh, for solution also it will be vapor pressure will be higher but at no point it will be greater than the vapor pressure of the component which is more volatile. So this line which you will be taking the upper will not indicate or this curve which you are getting this is for P total. And so this P total here this is P solution is greater than PA plus PB but at no point you find that the vapor pressure of the solution is more than the P not P more than the vapor pressure of the pure component which is more volatile. So this is the H diagram and for the same we will be drawing TX diagram. So here I do for you the TX diagram. So I rub it up. Here this is all. 
and another graph okay I use another color you can draw in your notebook if you draw and you prepare your own notes, you draw it and then you understand and make the notes, you will be understanding, remembering it in much better way and it, the concept will be more clear to you. So now this is for TX, TX diagram. So if TX then temperature is variable. So pressure will be constant, pressure constant and here it is composition, uh, mole fraction exactly the same way as we have done in previous diagrams or percentage, here component A, here component B, here XA1, XB0. 100% uh, A, every time you have to write this, 0% B and here XB is 1, XA is 0, 100% B, 0% A. So, for this, if you draw this, although you have not to do in much detail this, uh, but still if you do this, then this diagram will be reverse here p naught a so this is lower this is higher this is p naught b so when we draw for this it will be have it is having a is having lower vapor pressure than this it means boiling point of component a will be more than the boiling point of this and you can draw the figure but TX diagram for this TX type 1 is not in your syllabus why because this almost behaves like ideal solution almost is not exactly like ideal solution but quite closer to the ideal solution so PX now PX diagram for type 2. PX diagram for type 2 I will do for you. And so here in this I do that. Draw again this box. Rest of the things will be the same. Here, composition, mole fraction, and here is percentage, and rest of the things are same. I'm not writing it again and again. And when in your notes, you can do it. So this is P not A entering type two. Again, you will have to take. First, the ideal solution condition for pH diagram because we have to compare. Type 2 is also showing positive deviation, and this is your for solution. A straight line we have obtained. So when it is type 2, we have this above it, we have this above it and in the case of the solution, total pressure of the solution, it is found that at one point, that point you will have to take towards the higher side where the component is having more vapor pressure. So we will be decide a point is there where vapor pressure of the solution 
is more than the vapor pressure higher quite high higher than the vapor pressure of the uh, component which is more volatile in the type one you saw at no point vapor pressure uh, of the solution was more than the vapor pressure of the component which is more volatile so this is type two and here you this point at which vapor pressure at this particular composition if you take it at this composition they have this much of the vapor pressure means more amount of this and less amount of a and at the when we have this mole fraction or this much percentage approx uh, your 80 percent uh, b and uh, 20 percent a then we have so much of the vapor pressure so this is your type 2 so type 1 at no point vapor pressure of the solution will be more than the vapor pressure of the pure component which is more volatile but in type 2 at the vapor pressure of the solution at least at one point will be more than at least at one will be more than the vapor pressure of the solution the sorry vapor pressure of the component which is more volatile so for this we will draw tx diagram this is there in your course so for tx diagram as i told this is having low vapor pressure so this will be having higher boiling point so this is uh, your uh, t not b for component a and this is t not b for component b so ideal gas condition ideal solution ideal solution you know that a dilute solution behave like gases this is for ideal solution now if we convert this to this so in that case what it will be we will have a point or then we will have a fraction mole fraction where the vapor pressure sorry the boiling point of the solution this line is indicating a uh, boiling point of solution boiling point of solution at one point is less than the boiling point of the component which is more volatile boiling point this working one component is having so much boiling point and the other component is so much so the solution will have a boiling point less than the boiling point of the component which is more volatile or the component which has low boiling point your component so in that case we will have the graph like this will have the graph like this so this point is a uh, mark with m and here m is now you can compare the two diagrams and the uh, why i drawn parallel you should know to recognize what composition this one was px this is tx and so point m is indicating minimum point what minimum point if you draw a perpendicular from here to here on the temperature axis and the composition axis so what this point indicates that at this much of the boiling point this will be tb boiling point of the solution with mole fraction say the mole fraction is a at a composition 
is minimum. So when the solution, this type of solution, they reach to a fixed composition, fixed mole fraction of A and B or the percentage of A and B, then they will have a minimum boiling point. And such so solutions are called minimum boiling solution. And are also named as a azeotropic solution. Also named as azeotropic solution. So this was uh, your type 2. Now, the reason for this, we'll see. The first reason, if you will see, what is that? The, you have seen that vapor pressure of the solution is higher at one point. So why it is there? Because the interaction intermolecular interaction between what? A and A and B and B which is giving you A and B. If this interaction is A, this interaction is B and if this interaction is C, then A is, A may be equal to B, may or may not be or this, but surely A is equal to B, then it will not be equal to C. Or it may be A is not is equal to B is not is equal to C. Means interaction between these two components when they have formed solution is not exactly the same when they were having interaction in their pure state. So in that case what will happen? The interaction force, interaction between components in solution is weaker means A and B solute and solving molecule they are not held tightly because of which A, B, A this is solvent particles which are not held are tightly will be evaporating faster will be going to the vapor phase faster so vapors formed will be more and so what will happen? That is P A will be greater than P naught A. X A P B this will be P to X B. This is because of the weaker intermolecular interaction between the components in the solution. So first point that they do not the component and the solution do not follow Rouse law. The second is Delta V mixing will be greater than 0, will not be equal to 0. You have done that. This will not be equal to 0. But in this case, type 2, it is found to be greater than 0. So why greater than 0? If the volume of A molecule is so much, volume of B molecule is so much, and the solution formed is having this much. So the volume of, volume of or volume occupied by the molecules in solution of components, of components is more than their original volume. Then we have this. Final volume is more. Initial volume is less. So difference will be positive. So delta V mixing will always be positive. Why this was there? The reason is same. Intermolecular interaction is weak. So they occupy more space. A was having this much, B was having this much, so this should have 
that if the volume of this is A and the volume of this is B, then volume of this is if it is C, then A plus B is not is equal to C. What it is, A plus B is less than C. This is the case. And so, this is the unit. Now see the third point. Delta H mixing is also equal to 0. That is delta H mixing is not equal to 0. What does it mean? It means that uh, in that is uh, A and A molecule and B and B molecule when they are this one molecule of A, the other molecule of A held together, so their binding for interaction force is stronger and stronger. And here, AB which is formed and then binding force is not that stronger. So these are interaction forces are even stronger, they will absorb more energy. So energy absorbed is more for departing the molecule. This is not a chemical bond. So when I am using the word molecule, they are held together by interaction force. So energy absorbed to get these molecules separated is a mole. And the energy evolved when these two are coming close, different molecules, and establish a, a new interaction force. Old interaction force is getting uh, broken new interaction force is going to get formed. So when a new interaction force is forming, energy is evolved. So energy is evolved. Since this is weak, this force is weak, energy evolved, uh, energy is evolved less. Force is weak, energy evolved is less. Force is strong, energy absorbed is more. So energy absorbed is more then the energy given out. So the net reaction, the next process will be, net will be what? Endothermic. It will be absorbed, net process. So in that case, what will be there? Delta H mixing will be positive. I hope this is clear. Now we come to the type 3. PX diagram for type 3. What is type 3 solution? Which show negative deviation. So we will plot the graph PX diagram. The same that thing we have to do. If you draw again and again and again, don't be lazy student to draw this figure. Uh, if you draw and then you prepare your notes and you teach to yourself, you understand and study, it will be more convenient and easy for you to remember. It is pH diagram, so temperature constant. Pressure variable. Here composition. What composition? Mole fraction. Or what else? Percentage. Here component A, here component B. Here mole fraction of A is 1, mole fraction of B 0, 100% A and 0% B and here XB is 1, XA is 0, 100% B and 0% A. We have taken this uh, low 
volatile, less volatile, and this is more volatile. So this was P not A, this is P not B. So we will draw first ideal condition to compare the deviated condition. Now for the solution. In this case, the vapor pressure of solution at one point will be quite less than the vapor pressure at this point. The vapor pressure Vapor pressure of the solution. This is vapor pressure of the solution. This curve is also this is your minimum. So vapor pressure of vapor pressure of the solution at this point is minimum less than the vapor pressure of the pure component which is less volatile. Vapor pressure of this component in the pure state which is less volatile is so much so when it is forming solution with B then solution will have at this point its vapor pressure less than P not A value so if we draw uh, the TX diagram if we draw TX diagram for the same, so now Tx diagram for type 2 exactly showing negative deviation. So draw it. This is Tx, so pressure constant. And uh, temperature variable. Temperature variable for this. And uh, temperature variable here is composition for A and B. You write all that. Xb is 1, Xa is 1. And this all you write. I'm not writing. Okay. And so, in this case, this was having low vapor pressure. So, this will have a higher boiling point. This is having higher vapor pressure. So, this will have a lower. So first we will draw ideal condition to compare with the deviated condition. So this is ideal condition and in this case it is what found that the way the boiling point this is your this point is boiling point of component A and this is boiling point of component B and this line is indicating boiling point of the solution. So, when this is the condition, negative deviation, in this case, what will happen? The vapor pressure is low, so the vapor pressure of the solution is low at that point. So, at that particular point, at this composition, at this composition, 
and this pressure at this composition the pressure is so much least here yeah. so at that particular at that particular here yeah, reversed lower will be higher so we are coming to the higher side so we will remain towards the higher side so at this point is maximum this is gone this is going to Higher, higher point you will draw on the higher side. Higher point you will draw on the higher. So this is the point at which what it is at this particular composition and at this particular temperature. This temperature is T B of solution. So when this is this solution which we have here this is your non ideal solution and at this particular point this is for the solution at this particular point when composition is so much say the composition is b and the boiling point is tb tb is the boiling point at uh, the composition c what is there the boiling point is maximum so when the boiling point of the solution is maximum at this composition then this is called maximum boiling solution okay so type 2 is maximum boiling solution and type uh, this was type 3 not type 2 this was type 3 uh, type 3 is maximum boiling type 2 is minimum boiling and type 1 is closer to 1 so type 1 doesn't show any point where it is maxima only in type 2 and type 3 you saw minimum in type 2 and maximum in type 3 minimum what minimum boiling point in type 2 and maximum boiling point in type 3 maximum vapor pressure in type 2 minimum vapor pressure of the solution in type 3 now we will see the reason for this the reason is exactly like what we have done for type 2 what is that first condition that is pa is not equal to the product of these for non ideal solution why it is there we have a molecules and b molecules giving you ab molecule if interaction forces between a a molecule and ab molecule is not same now here if this is having some interaction force a This is having some interaction force, say B, some interaction force, say C. Then A is a strong, maybe equal to this, or it will be A may be greater than this, or A will be less than B. But uh, definitely A. Uh, if these condition A and B are less than, now look here. A and B is what interaction force of this and this. So A and B, this is if this is the condition A is equal to this. But when A B are combining interaction force, which is establishing here, is not equal to so much, but it is less than. so but when a and b <coughs> interaction forces are more than the interaction force 
of C. That is the condition. Means what? These are held very tightly. So when interaction force is stronger in solution, then the pure components. Then the pure component. When this is stronger, what will happen? In that case, they will not be forming, they will be held tightly, will not be easily able to go in the vapor phase. So vapors form will be less. That's why they will have low vapor pressure as we have seen in PX diagram. So in that case, what we will have? This will be less than this, what we obtain from Rao's law second. Delta V mixing will be less than zero. Again, that is volume of A is so much, volume of B is so much. When they form A B, volume of this is so much. A volume of this is A, this is B, and this is C. Then A plus B is not is equal to C. That is there. Not only is equal to but uh, a plus B is greater than C. What it is? Volume occupied by solution molecules. By molecules in solution. By molecules in solution is more than the pure component. So, if they are occupying, less than, sorry, is less, not more, this is more, this is less. If they are occupying less, very much compact, less space they are coming, less than the pure compact the solution. In solution, molecules are occupying less space. So, they are very close. When closed, then interaction forces are stronger as we have seen in the previous case. So, what will happen? In that case, delta V mixing will be negative. Now the third point. What is the third point? Delta H mixing will not be equal to zero. So what is that? Again here you have seen volume occupied by molecules in solution is more because of that. They have a strong uh, interaction, interaction forces in the molecule and because of which what will happen, just see here. Here they are the interaction forces weak. A and A and B and B. Uh, this is weak. They are far. So here A and B, they are stronger at interaction forces. And you will see the interaction force in AB. So, A has got interaction force A, B has got interaction force B, and AB has got interaction force C. So, this interaction force, this C is uh, stronger, this is stronger, and this is weaker, stronger, this interaction force. So this is weaker, it means what, when they will be getting departed, A molecules will be getting departed, they will absorb less energy, B molecules are weaker, so they will absorb less energy, they are stronger, so what will happen, you know that, uh, when bond gets separated, force gets uh, separated, molecules are departing, what happens, they absorb energy. So energy absorbed the side will be less because the interaction force is weaker. Here yeah, interaction force is stronger. So energy uh, which is evolved, energy which is given out, that will be what? More. So energy evolved will be more. Energy evolved is more and energy absorbed is less. 
what will happen? And in the word is more, so the process will be exothermic. So the process will be process will be exothermic. Means what? Delta H mixing will be negative. What is that? Delta H mixing will be less than. So that's all about uh, the condition and the PS and TX diagram. And next now we will do that uh, fractional distillation. So till then, bye.